Hello everyone, this is Maniac for Lego, and we're joining back for another Holiday Hall Part 2. If you haven't seen Holiday Hall Part 1 yet, don't worry, we've got plenty more to see. And it's also just been the last thing featured on my channel, uh, uploaded today, earlier this morning. So, let's take a look at Holiday Hall Part 2. We're going to start off one bag at a time. The first thing we have is a Marvin the Martian ornament, Merry Christmas Earthlings. I actually like Looney Tunes a lot, a lot of the classic Looney Tunes, that is. Don't give me that Looney Tunes show stuff that's on now. <laughs> the classic Looney Tunes are, well, some of the best. So that's how it looks. And it's a pretty large model, just judging by the box size. Um, it's a nice gift. I like a lot of, you know... We have a bunch of Looney Tunes ornaments in my house, some of them already on the tree. So this is a good addition to those. Now, as you probably just saw, we have some Kinect sets. And they're both Family Guy oriented. Um, just Too Good Eurobricks has been asking for Family Guy reviews for Kinect sets. And I've been wanting to see them myself. I'm a little bit of a Family Guy fan. Um, but most of the time, I'm, you know, it's late at night, so I'd rather get to sleep than set up and watch TV. So this is Peter Griffin in his station wagon. It only seats one person, from what it looks like, and has him in more of a suit than his traditional white and green outfit. But it does show on the back some of the other smaller sets. It's a kind of a small line of connects sets for this theme, and probably so because there's... There's very few models you could actually build from the Family Guy that would be considered iconic. Next up we have Stewie and the Time Machine. This version of Stewie shows him in his pajamas, contrary to uh, his also normal outfit. So we do get some variation with Stewie and Peter. Um, looks like the rest of the characters are pretty much the same as they are shown on the show. And this set I've been interested in because... It's somewhat iconic in the TV show, uh, more modern than classic Family Guy. And it also made me wonder, because I saw a review based on this set and said it was very fragile. So I want to see for myself how that works. But that's not the main reason why I got it, it's just one reason why I would um, look forward to it. Just Too Good Eurobricks also asked me to do Peter and the Station Wagon, so I will review that one first and then the Time Machine. When it comes to doing those reviews. The next bag we have starts off with a Godchild uh, ornament. So it's very sentimental and it's a nice decoration. I will keep that on my Christmas tree for next year. Then we have two Lego City scents in this bag. First one we have the cement mixer. Now I've said earlier in the year uh, when I did my first cement mixer review, this is on the older version of the city set, if I get this one, I will do a face-off between them. I will also do this one as its own review, and then compare the two sets in a face-off review. I'm not sure if I'm going to change the style of the face-off, because so far, it's kind of cool. I like the way it's set up, good music with it, and, you know, puts the categories in place. So, this will be exciting to build, see how the differences are, and, um and get to review them. So we have that. And last on our list for part two, we have another LEGO City set, the fire truck, also debuted from this year. Now this fire truck I like a lot because it's a simple design. Um, it seems to carry a lot of accessories with it. I don't have a fire truck like this in recent years from LEGO, so I don't have that sort of ladder on top, and I do like that piece and the idea of the fire truck. I think if I got any fire truck sets, they didn't really present this kind of design. And I know a lot of LEGO City ones can um, have similar designs over the years. Like the one in 2007, I believe, was similar to this slightly, but not entirely. So it does have some variation, but any of the LEGO fire truck sets or firefighter sets I've had, they don't really have that same uh, design to them. So I am looking forward to an actual fire truck, like I said. That's why I'm considering it. So we'll lay these out. These are my items for the 2014 Holiday Haul Part 2. 
thanks for watching thanks for joining me with this haul and we'll see you in part three it'll be a couple days later maybe sometime next week we'll see how it goes i'll get it up as soon as i can also i would like to make a shout out to just a good euro bricks and to the polybag collector the polybag collector especially it's been one year he has a one year anniversary video now uh debuting his channel so i want to um i want to congratulate him on his success if I mess, if I misconstrued that in any way, I am sorry, um, but I would recommend that you check out his channel to see his one year anniversary video. He's also been working on some new reviews and set intros and all different kinds of things pre preparing for 2014. Great big changes from what he's told me. And also, I'd like to make a shout out to Just A Good Eurobricks, who's been very up to date on LEGO information and part of the inspiration that got me, yes I'm wearing pajamas part of the inspiration that got me to into these connects family guy sets other than my own curiosity it's getting me more hyped to do these sets sooner because i probably would have gotten probably wouldn't have gotten to these um at such a quick time so we'll try to do these pretty soon thanks for watching this video and we'll see you next time with another holiday haul part three <laughs>